Hey there, this is Brett, and I'm going to show you how questions work on my understand the interactive video platform. Questions are a way to pause the video and explicitly solicit feedback from your viewer. Whether you want to gather information from them, quiz their knowledge, or just generally verify that they're still engaged, you can do that with questions. Let's take a look. Got a video loaded in here to Mindstamp, no interactions yet. I'm going to go ahead and play it. And at any point when I want to add a question, I can just come down here to the interaction bar and press this add question button. I'm going to do that and we're going to bring up the question dialog. First thing we're going to see here, question types. There's a couple of different question types you can ask on Mindstamp. Free response. That means let the viewer answer in whatever they, way they want. Use it for, for general information. You've got multiple choice. That means let me populate a couple of answers that they might select, one to five in this case, and let them click a button. Drop down select, which is multiple choice, but for many answers, say you can have 50 to 100 answers in there. You can ask them for a drawing response. So circle something on screen, point to something that makes you feel angry, sad, etc. You can ask for a voice response, really useful for measuring tone and pitch and enthusiasm, especially in customer facing roles. And a video response, same thing as voice, useful for measuring tone and pitch, but also a visual clue as to what your viewer is thinking, feeling, or doing, really helpful in training. This first one, let's just say free response, I'm gonna say, how are you today? Enter that in the prompt area. We've got a time here at seven seconds. That means it's gonna pop up at seven seconds. You can configure these questions to have a time limit. Let's say 10 seconds, I wanna give them the answer. And you can make it skippable or not. We can store this variable, store the answer to this question in a variable name for later use. I'm gonna say, let's store it in mood. We're gonna go ahead and save that. And just like that, I've added a question. You can see it pop up here down on the bottom bar. Now if I go back, let the video play, at seven seconds, this is gonna pop up and ask me how am I today? You see our timer going on. I'm gonna skip this right now. I'm gonna ask another one. I'm gonna say ask another question. This time let's ask a multiple choice. When I click multiple choice, we get a little, couple more options down here. It defaults to two answers. You can delete one, add more. But I'm gonna say, what's your favorite food? Answer number one, let's say pizza. Answer number two, let's say steak. Number three, sushi. Four, popcorn. So each of these answers has a text. I've, an I've entered these texts now, but each one also has an action on the button. So the default action is just to track and continue. We'll track that they answered that way and we'll resume the video. But if you want them to take action, you can use any of the standard, standard mind stamp actions in these questions. So we can show a message to reinforce learning. We can change the video time to skip them ahead or behind. We can open a link to send them to your website. Change the video, completely change the topic. We can start an email or phone call, or we can play an audio video clip. Audio video clips are really helpful for kind of stepping out and adding more context without leaving the video itself. In this case, let's show a message. So when they click pizza, I'm gonna show a message and say pizza is yummy. When they click steak, I'm gonna say change time. Let's go back to sec one second, you know, restart the video. When they say sushi, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna continue the video. When they play popcorn, I'm gonna say, let's open a link to popcorn.com. We can set a correct answer and we can also store this as a variable. In this case, I'm just gonna say, let's say the correct answer is sushi because sushi is delicious and I'm not gonna store the variable. I'll click that. So now I've got two questions on here. You can see them building up on the timeline. They don't have to show up here. You can toggle this off. And before we look at this, I'm gonna add one more thing. If you remember, I stored the variable, the answer to this question in the variable mood. I'm gonna go ahead and add a comment and you say, you said your mood was, we're gonna use the variable syntax, which is open brackets, variable, close brackets. Now that's gonna be replaced by the answer to the first question. I'm gonna show you this in a second. So let's save that, super simple to add a comment. We can see that it's dynamic. I'm gonna go in here to preview mode. Preview mode is used to see your video and collect the data exactly as a viewer will see it, not in this admin view. So let's open preview mode. None of the controls, just a nice big video. When I go ahead and play it, we see our three interactions. First up is this first question, the free response question. It's gonna ask me, how are you today? I'm gonna to say, great. We've got our timer as we set it. Next question coming up should be the multiple choice. 
What's your favorite food? These are buttons that are custom designed. We can make these any color or size shape you want. I'm gonna say sushi. If you remember, the correct answer was sushi, so we got that correct. Finally, we're gonna look here and see our variable replacement happen. It said, you said your mood was great, just like we answered. Really powerful to be able to use answers later in the video to create a personalized dynamic experience. This has been a quick preview of questions on MindStamp. If you have any questions, please do let us know. Thanks.